Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. Today I'm coming to you with another tag. This is the hobby tag. This was created by James Holder and I saw it on Revenant Vin's channel. I'll link to both of their videos below. The hobby tag. It's about hobbies. First question. Within your personal library, do you collect books, for example, specific authors, editions, publishers, genres? I don't collect many books, but these, some I do, these are the Observer's Book of Automobiles. The first one came out in 1955, I do have one from 1959, this is from 1975, and they continued until 1982. I like seeing the evolution of the design of automobiles. Each page has a different car. Here we've got Jaguar E-Type, Jensen Healy, and I have several of them. This is one of the more recent ones, this is 1981, and there's some earlier ones, this is 1969. I, I don't have 1955, which is the first edition, I do have a 1959. Question 2. What are your non-bookish hobbies? Let me show you. If you've been following my channel for any time, you know I collect diecast cars. I particularly like the Matchbox series. This connects me to the past. It gives me this nostalgia buzz from these old Matchbox cars, some of which are as old as me. This, for example, this is a Matchbox Ferrari Berlinetta from about 1969. So it's a bit younger than me. Most of these are not in their boxes. I do have a few with the boxes. And I have a lot of die-cast cars. Um, I did have as many as 1,600. Now it's down to about 1,450. I would like to get it down to 1,000. But I'm still collecting new models. I just want to get rid of some that I've got too many of. For example, when you have one Ford Mustang, that's great. When you have five, that's fine. But when you have a hundred Ford Mustangs, it's just too much. Question three, what hobbies have you fallen out with and why? There's many hobbies. As a child, I collected coins and stamps. I don't do either of those anymore. I don't think many people do. Question four, do you regret dropping those hobbies? I liked windsurfing but I haven't done any windsurfing since I came to Tbilisi. This is something I regret because I really enjoyed it. I practiced windsurfing in Australia, in England and in Turkey. And I don't regret dropping coin collecting or stamp collecting. I've got too much stuff. Question five, what hobbies do you wish you had? There's a lot I'd like to do. Uh, I'd like to do some acrylic painting. This is one I've done. Uh, it's not great, I, can, I know. This is a scene in Tbilisi. This is Vartango Kasali. This is Mateki Church. I have bought some blank canvases with the intention of doing some acrylic painting at some time. Uh, I'd like to do things like stop motion filming but I need a camera that can do that. The camera I'm using for these videos is not the best camera which I realized when I started doing booktube videos it's a noisy camera and it doesn't allow for stop motion or a lot of the things I want to do. This was a very short tag just five prompts. Who do I tag? I'll tag Greg that's another bibliophile reads. I'll tag Anne at Anne with a book and I'll tag Pay at Attention, although I don't think Pay's put out a video for a couple of months. I think he had some technical problems. Um, but if he wants to come back into Booktube, it'd be great to see him again. So that was it. That was my hobbies tag. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe below. And if you didn't like this video, and this is the internet, you can put a snidey comment in the comments below. Either way, it's interaction, I guess. So, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye!